Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Nomad. As you can tell, I've added some suspension right here. These are the shocks. And then I've added this top bar uh, to reach above the LiPo batteries and the weight distribution on, on the only side that, that moves on the Nomad because only one side moves and it really helps with weight uh, distribution. So I've added some weight on this side to counterbalance the arm. So not only can I handle bumps better and the suspension works out really good for that. So I'll just move it up and down so you can see. Um, I can actually, uh, the, with the wider tires, I can move the servos out a little bit farther. I've also added some relays. So I've added a relay and you'll see the light back here and what that's for is to power the Linux development boards once I get on site or when I want to so that I don't have to have them running the entire time. And I've also added a tow hitch. Now the tow hitch here, uh, this is just a gripper kit, but the tow hitch is actually a 5 8 inch tubing and it's attached to the back right here, but it's actually also attached to this center bar. So this servo will most certainly fail or the grip will fail before uh, I it lets go. I mean it's extremely tight uh, you know it's extremely mounted so it's really good mount. Just to talk about the workload of the motors now I'm not sure if I would recommend actually um, putting as much strain with these tires I'm really happy with the motors. The motors have done exceptional for what I've done to the motors. And what I mean by that is I've added a wider tire, a taller tire, I've added a good 20 pounds to the top of this thing. I've extended the motors out, I made them special brackets, and I just really put the motors through pain and torture. And I've actually got an extra motor here, because uh, I like these motors so much, I, I've got an extra motor here just in case one goes out. Just because, because they're relatively cheap, and for the weight and the strength that I put these under and how strong and how much torque they provide, I'm willing to replace them when they fail. Now, if that's something that you want to do, that's up to you. I just thought I'd show you the pan and tilt assembly, the suspension, the bar, and, the, and then I've got actual um, the tow hitch and then the relay system. I'll show you what. I'll take one out of the package and show you what the relays look like. You've probably already seen a relay before, but i just show you this one. I can get it out of the package here. So the relays are just this small little box that you connect to the receiver. So there's the receivers. And they come with a little jumper. And there's the, just the little relay. And this basically gives me the ability to uh, supply ba battery power from the LiPos. And then just basically turn a switch on from the receiver. So from the Tyrannus. And I can actually uh, boot light, or I can turn on lights, or I can boot a Linux, little Linux development board. So if I wanted to run LiDAR part of the time, but not the entire time, I can turn off features, which will help on the battery drain. So, yeah, so that's just the relay. That's what it looks like. And then here, I will show Welcome you to free Sky Tyrannus. the movement. I'll get a switch warning. Switch warning. I need to turn that off. Okay, so here I've mapped all of the servos uh, onto the different switches of the Tyrannus. Really simple, straightforward process. The better, what I've noticed, the better the radio, the easier it is to map the switches. So, and uh, I would buy this uh, again. If I go over the top of the Nomad or too close, I will lose signal. So, anyway, so just to give you a quick rundown on uh, the different movements. So here's my pan and tilt. And then from there I can actually spin. If you can see that spinning. And I can actually, uh, oops wrong one. I can actually take this up and down. So take it up and down and then spin it. So the camera mount will be there. And then when I'm done with it, and I wanted to keep it in the front here, uh, close to the side, to the center of uh, the weight distribution of the chassis. And then on the back, here, the relay, if I want to engage the relay, I just... It's pretty nice. So I can turn on lights, headlights, turn on infrared, turn on Linux development boards, just boot them up. So that's really cool. And then uh, the other portion is this tow hitch. 
So there's tow hitch. Now I've got I've got it on a two-way switch, or actually a, what I'm not really sure what you call that middle-way switch. So the uh, the tow hitch will actually just. I'm really happy with that. It's good and strong inside a real thick plastic. So I was actually pulling a bicycle around today with it without any problems. There's the tow hitch and the relay and we saw the pan and tilt and if you've seen I've done a, other videos on the arm you'll see um, a box go over the top of this to do a, basically a cabinet for the Linux development boards. Yeah guys uh, if you have any questions let me know and uh, give me a like, subscribe, have a good day.